Oh boy. Let me tell you about the history of the Shinti Shack SMP from when I joined in. My friend Akfias told me about a server which had the capability to run both Java and Bedrock together, where I would consider joining a few days later. And our main goal in the server was simply to make a giant hole. Spoiler alert, we never did. In the beginning of when we started, Spawn did not have any supplies for us to begin with, and the spawn was dense as well, with houses and markets. We did not want to live in spawn, and we moved out into a more empty space. Gathering supplies, we would stumble upon an era where we would call base. We did all our things there, from gathering food, mining, and basically just living there. We did not have any neighbors, since it was an isolated area, even though it was near spawn. Akbaris wanted to build a giant cobblestone tower to let anyone know that we were here. So with that, I decided to build a farm to complement that tower base. It was a decent sized farm. And that was the point where we decided to start a market. After gathering many supplies, I built the shop nearby spawn where new players would come by or players who needed things could come to our shop. It was a... Uh, normal size market not the most prettiest but the smp had a market island with a bunch of stores and all we had was just a local market and let's say our market did not do so well as demands were not in our favor the store was that they called general goods and stuff but still akfaris wanted to commit to the idea so he built a house nearby where he would accept requests from anyone nearby in the market he also renovated an abandoned village that seemed to be destroyed by players and creepers. At the same time, there was an election that was going on, where me and Akfaris would participate and listen to the speeches that each candidate gave. It would seem like a new era was starting, with the beginning of building nations and governments. After a few months, the area where we once lived in isolation became populated with newcomers. With now beautiful houses and bases that populated the area, we had a small community from Spawn. It was nice and peaceful, giving gifts to one another, but with the government shutting down, a temporary anarchy was announced on April 27th. Everything that the rules forbid became legal, besides hacking. Till the next update. Me and Akfaris decided to stock up on supplies and get ready to either go on the offense or defense. With a week to prepare, we did the best we could. Unsure on what to expect, we could only guess for the worst. Now for the main part, the anarchy itself. To be honest, I wasn't there online during the beginning moments of the anarchy, but the destruction afterwards, near after just like five days, was devastating. Housing gone, the spawn completely destroyed. There's a lot of buildings that can come unrecognizable. The store island, the market island more so, completely ruined with lava. Although, in the beginning, our main bases didn't really get as destroyed. It's still sad to see most buildings already gone during the griefing area. Much more past time, it's now time to settle in, live the new life where people just break in the loot for supplies that they have lost. For me, as I was in the server, I was adventuring around just to see all the chaos, to see people loot, although they were friendly, so PvP doesn't seem to be much during the intermission time 
the anarchy. Majority, it's just been silence and loneliness, really, as, well, most of the people would be gone from the destruction. But to say, much later, our tower base did get discovered and didn't get completely ruined, but they took out most of our floor. But with the anarchy, I have not much to say as, well, I didn't attend all of the main events of the anarchy. So now, with the finale of the anarchy coming in, I guess it is time to say that this anarchy was still quite devastating. Despite not much happening significantly, but the damage was done.